Hey, what's up, you guys? Zach Lives Lost. And Speed Freak. This is the things to do in Grand Theft Auto V. And this is how to get inside of the police station. So, in the heist, in uh, the prison break heist, is that the second one you can do? I think uh, so. Uh, yeah, because the first one's the uh, Flick of Bank. Yeah, like the tutorial one. So, inside of that heist, you can actually get into the police station. You can also do it in free mode after, like, you complete it. But you have to go in through the back door. So you just basically, you saw it on the map, you gotta just come through here. You'll actually end up into the basement. Just walk up. It doesn't look like you can actually get inside. Walk right in, and it is fully textured out. Because, like I said, it's in the heist. You have this entire place as your little uh, playground. Ooh, can you get in those cells? You can get inside of those cells. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. That toilet has a lot to be desired. <laughs> Leaves so much imagination. It's a prison cell. I mean, it's not like a five-star Marriott or anything, you know. It's, <laughs> it's the thing. I, I, it looks I, more I was... like a water fountain than a toilet. Well, oh, it is. It's like a toilet with a water fountain on top. It's like you, you can drink the water like in, in the top of the toilet. It's one of those, you know. It's very oh, economically efficient. Then over here, I wanted to see if like I could buy like an espresso. You can't buy an espresso, unfortunately. Aww. None of like the soda machines work. I know, oh, I remember this from the heist because you go in there and that's where you get the dossier. Yeah, I think in here was it in here? Yeah, it's I, right there on the left desk. Oh yeah, yeah. strong career or something. I thought that's a that short thing. career. <laughs> oh, it's because they get shot often. It makes <laughs> sense. So here's the big main area. There's a lot of stuff you can go into that, like, just because you never would go into, because there's usually cops everywhere. You can go into the locker room. There's a nice I mirror. If you actually went in there during the heist, what the fuck would happen? I mean, I you're all, you're in like police garb. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, there's you donuts are. Donuts on the seat. <laughs> there were donuts. There's donuts on the bench, man. I I guess. I mean, yeah, it's a police department. I guess that makes <laughs> sense. So can you go out the front doors? Uh, no, you cannot. You'll see in a second, you can't go outside the front doors, but you can shoot through them. Which which uh, leads to some interesting things. Ooh. Inside the chief's office there or something. There's an armory. armory. You can't get into the actual armory, though. Kind Aww. of disappointing. Like, it's all, like, modeled out. Like, you see on the map, like, it's there, but you can't get inside. At least I haven't figured out how to. Maybe, like, if you blow the doors open. <laughs> Not entirely sure. So... Uh, I think this is the point where, like, I see some cops are just hanging out outside. I'm like, hey, we're, like, Help. reversed roles. I'm locked. I'm locked. And wow. You can shoot through them. They can shoot you, but only through that one little pane of glass. So I basically just hold up in here, try to see how long I can last without, you know, anyone coming and get me. Because they can't get to me, really, unless they run all the way around. Do they ever run all the way around? One guy did, I think. He was just behind me, and then like, and then I just shot him. Other than that, though, no one came and got me. But the problem is there's no cover here, so it's just... I mean, there is cover, but they shoot right through the glass. That never shatters. It's the best glass in the world. And that guy with a helmet just snipes me and takes me out. But it's yeah. like the, the equivalent of like holding up in the hospital in GTA 4. Pretty much, yeah. 